Tukazani, this is Edi Khanya. Good day, everyone. Please welcome back. This is Koko Mahabo again. I want us to do our weekly prediction for this week. See what's coming for us this week. Thank you, guys. Um, first, I want to welcome those who are new. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, like our page, and hit the notification bell as well. Okay, I have um, nine cards right in front of me. I'll show you the cards. Just give me a few minutes. Okay, I have the full. I have the six of pentacles. I have the wheel of fortune. I have the page of wands and I have the seven of wands. I have the full, six of pentacles, wheel of fortune, page of wands, seven of wands. I have the lady, she says to you, enjoy growth and reap rewards. I have the moon and I have the world. And lastly, I have trust from the mother earth, okay? Um, I wanted to know that uh, for most of you, this week is going to be, a, you know, a beautiful week for you. For those of you, if maybe you did receive um, some messages or some guides from your spiritual guides about what needs to be done, um, this is something to do with uh, something which will bring you abundance at the long run. This is about you getting your blessings, you getting financial gains. I want you to know that uh, now is the time to start with whatever you've been guided to do. Most of you, you've been shown um, maybe some creative ideas, business ideas through dreams, through visions as well, or maybe even through the intuition. And if you feel like you are ready, I want you to know that now is the right time. So you need to start with that. And for some of you, uh, this week you will receive these messages. Maybe you have not received them before or you did, but then maybe you didn't um, take them seriously. You'll be shown those things again this week. This is you uh, having that dream where you see yourself, you know, having that shop. The shop belongs to you. Maybe you're selling uh, clothes or maybe you're selling food or you're selling something. Um, or you being involved in a very big project, something like that. I want you to know that this is the time. If you are being shown projects from time to time and you don't have a company, maybe this is the time for you to start registering a company and, you know, try your luck with tenders and those things. I want you to know that your guides are on your side and you'll be blessed. You'll get something. And um, they say that whatever um, those ideas which they're giving to you for some of you maybe it's something to do with art maybe you 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 know you know how to draw how to do sketchings uh, you know how to sing uh, you need to take this seriously um i wanted to know that for most of you there will be some money coming to you and this is a very uh, you know a, a blessed week for you i see money coming to you it's, it will come in different ways for some, you're going to win some money. And some of you, you're looking for work. I want you to know that they said to you that this is a blessed week for you. You'll be shortlisted for an interview. Or maybe you're also going to attend interview this week already. You know about that. You need to prepare yourself. And for some, you're looking for work. I want you to know that this week you must take things seriously. Say your prayers before you send your CVs or before you go to those offices to ask for work or to those shops to ask for work. Say your prayers first. Talk to your guides. Tell them what uh, where you are going. What are you going to do there? And ask them for blessings to come with you and to bless you as well. And when you go there, we need to have faith in you. Tell yourself that this job is mine. What I'm going to do it's just formality. I'll be starting soon. Because they show me work coming to you. For those of you who are looking for work, yes, for some you're working, but or, but then you, you need, you know, some greener pastures. You need, you know, uh, something different. You want to move to another company or to another uh, state. So this is the right time for you to start with your moves. 
and they say to you this is going to be a busy work for you because i see you working very hard and they say to you that whatever you're working on you need to know that you're going to be successful abundance will come to you and the lady says to you enjoy growth and reap rewards this week you are going to enjoy growth and you will reap the rewards Yes, for some, I know that you are not working. Maybe things are very hard this time. I want you to know that someone is going to give you some money this week. It doesn't matter how much it is. I want you to appreciate it. And I want you to thank God. Thank your spiritual guides. Thank your ancestors for this money which has been given to you. And you need to ask them to send you more money because you are going through some things or you are suffering. Um, I want you to tell them, yes, I do understand that they know what is happening in your life. But sometimes our guides, they want us to say things through our mouth because they want communication. This is what they want. They want us to communicate with them. Whenever you feel like, you know, uh, things are not going well, you are struggling financially, things like that. I want you to always kneel down, talk to God, talk to your spiritual guides, talk to your ancestors, and explain to them what is currently happening in your life. Ask them for money, for food, money for to pay for services, money to pay for your to pay for your for your debts. Ask them those things, and you'll see. You will have this money as soon as possible. It won't even take long. All you need to do is to have faith. And I have a card, um, the moon card. It says to you, you need to listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine because your guides are talking to you through your intuition they're talking to you through um the vision they're talking to you through the dreams so listen to those important messages from your guides do not ignore them because um whenever they talk to you and you keep on ignoring them i want you to know that they will end up turning their back on you they will never um you know, deliver any messages from you anymore. So you need to hear what they're saying to you. And you need to respond to them. Tell them that you've heard everything which they said to you and you'll do as they said you must do. And if they told you about something uh, which you feel like you can't do immediately because of one, two, three, you still need to, you know, report to them that, you know what, I've heard everything, but then right now I won't be able to do one, two, three, because of this and that. And then you ask them for help. That's when um, they will come to you again and show you how things will be done. Or maybe they will send someone to you who's going to give you, if maybe whatever needs to be done requires money, they will send you money. Money will come to you in different ways. Maybe you will win some money or, you know, someone will come, you know, someone with a good heart and they will donate some money to you. They will help you with whatever you want to help with. And remember, this money that you're going to get, you need to use it for important purposes, for what you've been shown. Don't use it for, you know, other things which are not necessary. Otherwise, your guides next time when you ask for money, when you are desperate, they won't, they, they won't help you. Because they did try to help you, but then you use the money for, you know, unnecessary things. For instance, let's say they give you this money, you ask for something, uh, for some money, uh, and then you explain to them that I want to pay one, two, three, or I want to use it for this and that, or I want to start a business. Then someone came and helped you with the money, or you, you win some money, and what happens thereafter? Or they gave you a job, so that you'll be able to save money and be able to start whatever you wanted to start. And what happens then? You have the money now. You forget about your obligations. What do you do now? You start wasting money. Use it on liquor, use it on, on unnecessary things, clothes, you know, things which you don't need. What will they do then? Next time when you're in trouble, when you need money desperately, they won't be able to help you. And they say to you that you, you, you are this person, you always have this unnecessary worry. You're always worried about something, maybe worried about the past, worried about money, worried about relationships. You know, these things are not necessary. Do not concentrate on this, on the, on those things. Yes, in this material world, you know, we, we will always come across many challenges. Remember, that's where 
negative energies dwells as well so there will always be challenges coming from negative energies coming from our you know our enemies and some that just you know uh, coming from our mistakes or other people's mistakes so you don't have to worry too much about that concentrate on today concentrate on tomorrow for those problems or well, those challenges you need to you know to come up with a plan on how you're going to solve those type of problems. And you know that you, you'll see that you'll be prepared next time when you come across this type of things, of challenges, you'll know how to handle them. So the more you think about those problems is the more that, you know, you are closing doors for the light in your life. You are closing doors for your spiritual guides to enter. And what are you doing on the other side? You are opening the other door for negativity because um, negative Negative thoughts, negative entities, um, witchcraft, they want a place which is, you know, uh, surrounded by doubts, surrounded by fear, surrounded by worries. So stop worrying. I want you to know that for every problem that you have, your guides knows about it and they will help you. Provided you do something as well, you take action on them. Don't just fold your arms and be like, they will help me. No, you need to do something from your side as well, physically and spiritually as they will do whatever they do spiritually from the side and they, they advise you to let go of the, those fears stop worrying stop being fear and they say to you that they will reveal to you things which are going to make everything clear they will reveal to you how you need to solve your problems how you're going to solve those challenges they will reveal to you everything which needs to be done. So if you are spiritually connected with your guides, if something very bad or some challenges are coming in the next few months, they will reveal them to you before time. And then you already will know that, okay, this and that are going to happen. So this is how I'm, I'm going to handle the situation. And they say to you that um, they have a brilliant success, brilliant um, you know, ideas for you coming to you from them. So many things will be revealed to you soon. All you need to do is to, you know, acknowledge them. Because if you don't acknowledge them, if you don't talk to them, obviously when they come, you won't even understand the message. You won't even hear them. You will hear, but you will forget. And then nothing comes. And they say to you that uh, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment is right now. So um, this week, make sure that you pray, you talk to your guides, you know, um, you do anything spiritually, you ground yourself, you know, just connect yourself spiritually to your guides. Do fasting, eat the right food, get cleansed. This is what you need to do. Soon you'll have the freedom to do whatever you want. As long as it's if, whatever you want, it's things which are related to the light, things which will, you know, uh, bring you success. You know, for some, it's not only about success. I mean, when we talk about success, we don't talk about money only or being rich or something. For most of us, you know, our, our, our obligations to do on this earth is to do spiritual work. We are not here for material things. So if you are a spiritual person, you find that you are struggling with money or, you know, things are not right. This is what, you know, has been, this is what is, is entitled to you. When you were sent on this earth to do your job, you've been told that, you know what, you are not going there to enjoy material things. You are going there, there to do spiritual work. So they say to you, you need to be proud of yourself. They are proud of, of you as well. So be proud of yourself as well. Love yourself and be proud of yourself. If you do something and then you fail, don't regard yourself as a failure or a stupid or something. No, you're not. The more you say to, you, to yourself, you know what, I'm stupid, then you are bringing, you know, uh, you're opening doors for, for negativity in you. Obviously, you will be a fool. What comes from your mouth will happen for real. And that's what people will see in you. When, whenever they look at you, they will see a fool. Just tell yourself that you are, you are intelligent, you are brilliant. What happened was just a minor mistake. 
and you're going to fix this mistake and tell yourself that this mistake will never happen again. And your mother earth, the mother earth says to you, you need to trust. Trust in her. Let your faith in her and be stronger than your fear and doubt. So she's also telling you about fear and doubt. She doesn't want fear and doubt in you. You need to defeat fear and doubt in you. Whenever I do something and um, during the process, if I start having negative thoughts, I stop doing whatever I was doing. And immediately I will start telling myself, that I'm not, um, you know, I, 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 I will start chasing those negative thoughts in me. If I'm in a place where I can light a candle, I always light a white candle. Sometimes I pair it with the red one and I will chant and say to myself or say to this uh, negative thoughts, Negative thoughts, you don't belong here. Negative thoughts, you don't belong here. Negative thoughts, you don't belong here. I will chant this until i'm satisfied when i'm done then the negative the negative thoughts will be gone and now i'll start having that positivity that i had before or even more than that then i will continue with my work if i do something and i fail and now maybe negative thought says to me ah you are stupid or it's like i am stupid remember it's you know when it comes to you it's like it's you you're telling yourself that you are stupid I will stop everything, light my candles, and I will start chanting. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. Now I'm doing what? Affirmation that I am a brilliant person. I'm intelligent. What happened was just a mistake or it was just a test from, you know, negative thoughts. I mean, from negative energies, from my enemies, you know, who are trying to bring darkness in me. So, what do I do? I fight with only weights. And then when I'm done, then I will continue with my work. The, uh, the Mother Earth says to you that as long as you get uh, rid of fear and doubts, all the obstacles will fall away. It will go away. She says to you, there are no limits to my power, to her power. So why should there be limits to your faith? Trust in her. As long as you trust in her, you're going to have faith. Once you see that you don't have faith anymore, then you need to know that it means that you don't trust in the universe. You don't trust in the Mother Earth. You don't trust in your spiritual guides. That's why you, you are having fear. That's why you are having doubts. That's why you don't have faith. That's all for you guys that I had for this week. And have a lovely week. Enjoy yourself. Tegosa.